Harold Egner back at you today. We're here with Goldie. We call this Goldie. She's a 150 pound specimen. It's banded quartz. As you can see, a lot of people's going to call this spot right here pyrite. This is not pyrite. I can show you that with using the electricity here. We also, in Goldie, we have quartz crystals. A lot of them's been broke off. She's been several hundred miles, been to GPAA shows, etc. Up here we got we also got silverish colored gold. That's because you got more silver than gold, but you do have gold in these pockets right here. We've had Goldie four years plus now. As you can see, I'm going to show you. It's a banded quartz specimen. This is your banded quartz. We have bands of mineralization going through her. Right here, a lot of this is hematite. You got gold in the hematite. It's an associate of gold. You got, you do have some pyrite in here, you got some copper in here. You have all kinds of minerals in this here specimen. As I spin her around, you can see big old pocket right here crystals. Some of them's been broke off, some ain't. Big crystals in here, little crystals, pretty crystals. The rest of this is laying there right in the vein. I know where to find it. We left it behind, no room for it. Right here is more mineralization as you can see. A lot of people call this pyrite. I'll show you it's not. We'll use the Falcon Gold Tester. We'll also use electricity. I still swear by the electricity because the electricity does not go through pyrite whatsoever. Trying to get it to register. Right there. There you go. That is gold, folks. That's nothing but gold. We'll spin her back around. We'll get a close-up here of what most people call the pyrite. That's this right here. Just to show you. This is gold. We got power flowing right through that puppy right there. This is calvarite gold, by the way. Very rare. It's the rarest form of gold you're going to find. Up here, I see a crystal. I don't know if it's gold or if it's pyrite. That's gold in that pocket. I just busted off a big chunk. It went down. We lost it. Oh, well. That's more for the ground. Right there it is. Right there. That's your gold. Right there. Anybody can say it's not? It is. We'll do the electrical test on it. That's gold. We just popped gold out of her. So right there, you got a little less gold in the rock. We do have this up for sale. And the reason we're selling it, we have Amelia here. She has cystic fibrosis. All this money goes to her, her medical treatment. She's going to Riley's Hospital. We could sure use that cash to pay for the specialist, for her medicines, etc. Now here we have the gold falcon up. It makes a little noise, but here's your gold. I don't know if you hear that. That's gold, folks. Definitely test for gold. Back here we got a standard rock. This is why I say gold falcon. You got gold in here. We don't see it, but it's in there. A lot of people say, oh, that's metal. Well, right here, look here, we got a piece of steel. Listen at your difference. That's steel. Your gold don't act that way. Totally different pitch. Go up here. Those are pockets of gold, folks. A lot of people call it pyrite. That's your proof. Right there. The gold falcon does not sound whatsoever on pyrite. No matter what others say, go to a dealer. Look into it. What I'm showing you is the truth. That's gold. That's all there is to it. Anybody says this is pyrite, 
Ah, the pyrite fooled them because it's gold. I love taking this to Hard Rock. I'm hitting a little bit of gold just about everywhere I hit on this rock. Some pockets are more, some are less. That was wire interference. But anyways, anybody interested in this rock here, shoot me a private message through Facebook. You'll find me at Harold Egner. Shoot me a private message if you're interested in this. Remember, you're Calvarite. Any specimen of Calvarite with Calvarite in it, verified Calvarite like what this is, it will run you $199 for a 3-ounce specimen. And at 3 ounces, you're going to see maybe one or two crystals of Calvarite in it. So get with me. Right here, this weighed 150 pounds when we weighed it. I'm going to say it's 145 because it has traveled. Some of the crystals have broke. But when you do your math, you're going to find out it's very valuable. I'm taking an offer. Somebody shoot me a reasonable offer. This here would be a great specimen for a living room or just to crush up and take the gold out of. I've never washed it. Here's your red dirt. It's got gold in the dirt too. Here's your crystals. You got your gold. It's never been cleaned chemically or otherwise. Right here's your gold. Right here. Calvarite. Remember, it's gold. It's a rare form of gold. That's because it's just not found that often. It's in low epithermal deposits. Sometimes the high epithermal deposits. That's another story with geology. These just don't move easy, but there it is, your banded quartz. Right here's your classic iron stain. This here's a gold cap, a gossip. Uh Anybody wants to get a hold of Jeff Pickens, he owns the Cotton Patch Mine in North Carolina. He saw this rock. He loves this rock. It can be yours. Shoot me an offer on the right price. We can deliver. You can pick up. We can figure out how to ship it. Either way, the shipping will be expensive, but so will the rock. Everybody have a good day, and here's your good example of your gold.